What's going on guys, Figs here. Hope you guys are having a great day today. But today guys, going to be bringing you a Fortnite video. And if you guys didn't know, we got the new vending machines update in Fortnite Battle Royale. It's actually really cool. I'm glad that the vending machines actually came to the game. You know, at first, I thought the vending machines were going to be really overpowered. I was like, dude, I'm not ready for this. Like, people are going to use and abuse this kind of thing. But you know what? To be honest with you, I actually really like how they did it in this game. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, if you guys are saying, what vending machines are you talking about? Around the map in Fortnite, there are vending machines scattered around the map. And what they do, you actually trade in some of your material in order to get an item. So depending on what kind of vending machine you find, so if you find a golden vending machine, you have to spend 500 wood, 500 steel, 500 brick. You find a, I don't, I haven't found a purple one. I've, I've found so far today a gold one, a blue one, and a gray one. I haven't found a green or like a purple, but I don't know if those exist. I'm pretty sure they do. Like I said, they're just scattered around the map in the game. So uh, I didn't get it in this one, but I'm gonna obviously show you guys some clips of me getting like some of the the vending machines in the game. It's actually really cool, you know. Sometimes, like myself, you know, I tend to have so much more steel and brick versus like woods. For me, wood is like the main material I need. Like you know, I can kind of deal without the the steel and the brick, but you know, the the wood for me it's something I really use a lot in this game. And, uh, you know, brick and steel is something that, you know, I was like, it's kind of pointless. Like, I, I kind of use it just to, like, build a base for the bottom. But that's it. Like, I don't really use it much else. But with the vending machines, you're able to go ahead and you're able to spend all those materials on something you really, really want to get. So, like, earlier today, I was able to get, like, a chug jug by spending all that kind of stuff. Or um, I was able to just, you know, get anything. Like, anything I want. I was able to get a scar. I was able to get an RPG. All that kind of stuff. So, I'm going to show you guys some clips right now. I don't know if, like, these are always where the vending machines are going to spawn because you know they do spawn in random places but they're very easy to find like they're about the same spawn rate as like the chests are in this game so you are you guys are going to frequently find them but i feel like they always spawn at least one of them in each city so just be aware that you know in each of your cities it, there might be at least one vending machine in retail row i ended up finding one that was a gold one which is actually pretty cool so i'm going to show you guys the vending machines i found you know they're pretty cool so depending on the verity of the vending machine you find there's going to be like different amounts of materials you're going to have to spend. So I think the blue one, it's about 300 each material. So you got to either have 300 wood, 300 brick, 300 steel. So this one we have to spend 300 to get the RPG. This one we have to spend 300 brick to get the SMG. And then this one we have to spend 300 steel to get the fireplace. I also found this one by the gas station at Pleasant Park. You know, I feel like they're going to spawn mostly in like gas station areas like it would make sense to like spawn in a gas station area. So this was in Pleasant Park by the gas station. Like I said, they're always going to be in areas that are just different. Like they're not going to always spawn in like the same locations, but they're going to be very common to find. They're going to be like chests. You know, the very the rarity of them, it's going to be just like finding a chest in this game. So this one, this vending machine right here, this was a gray one. You know, you spend 100 wood to get the shock and all that kind of stuff. So this one I wasn't really too caring about. This one that I just found over here, it was right at the edge of Tomato Town. You know that one bridge that you guys crossed to get from Tomato Town? It was over here. I mean, you know, like I said, they're going to be in random locations. They do have a sound to it. When I first found it, I thought I found a llama. I was like, yo, I think I hear a llama or something. But it was ended, it ended up being a vending machine. These things are really cool. I'm so glad that Fortnite decided to add these. I mean, just look at this. Even though it's a great one, like you could spend 100 wood, 100 whatever, just in case if you have those materials and you just don't have a gun. But you know, I do wish I would have marked them on the maps for you guys. I just forgot to. I was just in a rush to get some clips of the vending machines. I actually end up do spending some of my materials on a gold one. I'm not going to tell you what I bought. You guys are going to have to look. But obviously, the blue ones, they do cost 300 whatever material. This one, in this case, had a grenade launcher, a potion, and then some C4. Obviously, I didn't want any of that because I just didn't really need any of that. I'm not really too good with grenade launchers, all that kind of stuff. So now my last spot that I was able to find a vending machine was retail row. I actually ended up finding two within the same game, which I don't know if that's rare or not, but it was within the same game. I found a blue one over here, and then I ended up finding a gold variant of the vending machine. It actually had some pretty good stuff for a gold one. I mean, I only was able to find one gold vending machine in this game so far, but this blue one right here, it had the shotgun, the RPG, SMG, and then I'm going to go literally like next door to the supermarket area. And I, I don't know if this is rare or not, like I was saying, guys, but it's really, really neat how they have the vending machines in this game. I just, I can't stress that out enough, but right over here, you go over here, and then there's a gold one that's got two chug jugs, and then it had a desert eagle. Obviously, I was like, you know what, this is my first gold one I had found. I'm going to go loot some material, 500 for the gold one, so that's crazy. I went, looted some wood, and then all of a sudden, I came back, bought the chug jug. There we go, baby, let's go. Chug that bitch down, and now we are at full health. But anyways, guys, that's all the 
vending machines I was able to find in this game so far. But anyways, guys, I'm really curious to hear what you guys got out of the vending machines. Were you able to get the RPG? Were you guys able to get the SCAR? Whatever, guided missile, whatever it may be. Leave that down in the comment section below. Like I said, I was able to find some good things. But, you know, I wasn't really able to find a lot of good things at the same time. Like, I really wish I could have got, like, the guided missile. So, so far, I've only been able to use the guided missile once in this game. I haven't really been able to use it. I'm not really too good with explosives in this game anyways. But tell me, guys, in the comment section below, have you guys been able to find other vending machine locations? Where are they at? I mean, there's just some of my locations I was able to find. I got lucky by finding those. But that's going to wrap up the video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I know it's a little bit shorter than usual, but I just kind of wanted to, you know, share my vending machine experience with you guys in this game so far, what I've been able to find, all that kind of stuff. If you guys did enjoy the video, please drop a like on it. Rate the video, subscribe if you guys are new. Share the video, really help the channel grow. Thank you guys so much once again for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, guys. It's free. Make sure to turn on post notifications so you guys don't upload. I really appreciate it. Like I said, guys, tell me in the down... Tell me down in the comment section below, what are your best weapons you guys have been able to get through the vending machine? Tell me, do you guys think the materials needed for the items are too much? Like, do you guys think the gold one should cost less? In my opinion, I think it's not broken at all. Like, I think the way it is right now is actually perfect, you know. If you got that extra material you don't use, like myself, I don't use much brick. I don't use much steel. So, if I ever approach, like, a gold vending machine, I need, like, a scar or something or I need an RPG and I got that extra brick i got that extra metal anything like whatever except wood wood is my thing right there guys i can't give up the wood but anything else i can go ahead and give that up like i just barely use metal or i barely use brick so tell me guys do you guys think it's too much you guys think it's too little really curious to hear about that but thank you guys so much for watching today's video i'll talk to you guys all later peace out guys